as much as I like that little stroke that created the, the stock for that leaf. I'm going to probably change that because it'll be easier to change that one, I think, than to change that other long leaf, the ones that are going both the same direction. notice with a lot of this I try not to overwork the strokes I'll get the paint that I want on there and then as often as I can I try to lay down the shape that I want in one stroke and then vary the pressure that I put on that stroke so that it it naturally levels off or tapers off it helps to create a more natural feeling better edges and more natural three-dimensional quality to it. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of something appear magically to the side or something. That's just, I cleaned a brush and didn't think you'd want to waste your time having that in the video. So if you see things change, you haven't missed anything. Still got all the paint in there, the brush strokes, all that sort of thing. I just took out everything else that was a waste of your time to watch. All right, so you notice that the top of that stem kind of disappeared into the background. It's because the values and color temperatures are too closely aligned. So I need to punch that up, give it more to, to bring it out away from the background. Instead of adding white to it, which is going to kill the color more, I warmed it up. Added more of the cadmium yellow medium. And wow, that was way too thick for a hollyhock stem, especially for with what I'm trying to do. I want a much more subtle play of shapes and highlights and values in here. I really want to have a the background, a, a nice delineated shape between those parts of the plant. I want that to feel more like the background back there. That's why I'm working so much at trying to get rid of my mistake there. So that's where instead of coming back in and 
trying to replace exactly what that original wash in the background was. I'm just going to add a little bit of darker tone in there, vary things up a bit. But then if I put it in one area, I need to put it in other areas around throughout the painting so that it feels as if it belongs, not like it's out of the blue splotch that kind of the Sesame Street thing, one of these things is not like the others. Yeah, I don't want that going on. It'll draw way too much attention to it. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out there and paint your own masterpiece. Oh, and before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any of my videos, just go to my website at InmanFineArts.com and you can find them all there. Have a great day painting.